scanning habitable environments with Raman and luminescence for organics and chemicals is an ultraviolet Raman spectrometer that uses fine-scale imaging and an ultraviolet UV laser to determine fine-scale mineralogy and detect organic compounds designed for the Mars 2020 rover mission. It is constructed at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory with major subsystems being delivered from Malin Space Science Systems and Los Alamos National Laboratory. The principal investigator is Luther Beagle, and the deputy principal investigator is Rohit Barsha. SHERLOC will have a calibration target with possible Mars suit materials, and it will measure how they change over time in the Martian surface environment. Topic. Goals According to a 2017 Universities Space Research Association USRA report, the goals of the SHERLOC investigation are to assess the habitability potential of a sample and its aqueous history, assess the availability of key elements and energy source for life C, H, N, o, P, S, etc. Determine if there are potential biosignatures preserved in Martian rocks and outcrops. Provide organic and mineral analysis for selective sample caching. To do this SHERLOC does the following. Detects and classifies organics and astrobiologically relevant minerals on the surface and near subsurface of Mars. Bulk organic sensitivity of 10 to 5 to 10 to 6 width W over a 7 by 7 mm spot. Fine scale organic sensitivity of 10 to 2 to 10 to 4 with W spatially resolved at astrobiologically relevant mineral arm detection and classification to Topic construction SHERLOC will be mounted on the robotic arm of the Mars 2020 rover It consists of both imaging and spectroscopic elements it has two imaging components consisting of heritage hardware from the MSL MALI instrument. One is a built-to-print reflight that can generate color images over multiple scales. The other acts as the mechanism that allows the instrument to get a contextual image of a sample and to autofocus the laser spot for the spectroscopic part of the SHERLOC investigation. For spectroscopy, it utilizes a NECU laser to generate UV photons 248.6 nanometers, which can generate characteristic Raman and fluorescence photons from a scientifically interesting sample. The DUV laser is co-boresighted to a context imager and integrated into an autofocusing, scanning optical system that allows correlation of spectral signatures to surface textures, morphology and visible features. The context imager has a spatial resolution of 30 micrometers and currently is designed to operate in the 400 to 500 nanometers wavelength range. See also <laughs> <laughs>